So each of these teams has a special story, not because of what they did on the ice, but what they did off the ice. So I'm going to talk to one of the coaches of the Aurelia Terriers and find out what their story is. Scotia Bank put together this competition, and the winner is going to go to Scotia Bank Hockey Day in Canada. Angels, do you want to know who you're up against? What's up, guys? Coach Jeremy here. I'm at the Scotia Bank Pond, and I've been invited for a behind-the-scenes event with. Darcy Tucker, PK Subban, Landon McDonald, and Cassie Campbell. I gotta meet them right now, so let's go. Just go to the dressing room with the players. Great group of people. Uh, really funny. The scene in the locker room never changes. Lanny McDonald was chirping uh, Darcy Tucker about his crazy eyes and how he might scare some of the kids out there. Then uh, PK was talking to Lanny McDonald, asking him if he remembered skating PK as a kid. So Lanny McDonald was coming out to the rink doing drills, and uh, little little PK was on the ice, and he still remembers that. So it's just amazing that those experiences are still there. I'm about to head out on the ice because the games are about to begin. Let's check it out. So each of these teams has a special story, not because of what they did on the ice, but what they did off the ice. So I'm going to talk to one of the coaches of the Aurelia Terriers and find out what their story is. I'm Dallin Telford. I'm the coach of the Aurelia Terriers Major Adam team. Last summer, it was we put the challenge to the boys to, to work 40 hours doing whatever they wanted, washing cars, helping their parents with dinner, cutting the grass. The only catch to it was the parents had to pay them $5 an hour, $200 for the summer for each kid. Our boys decided they wanted to put all their money together uh, come the start of the hockey season and help someone in our community who was less fortunate. With the money they made and earned and saved, they sent a, uh, a young man who had a heart transplant and his family to a, to a Leafs game in a limousine. They put them up in a hotel for the night and we gave them some spending money to sort of give them a memory that they could uh, take with them forever. So pretty special group of kids, pretty proud of them. Um, you know, being 10 years old to come up with an idea and, and follow through and execute something like that. Uh, not much more to say but a group like that. But we wanted to teach them work ethic uh, more than anything. We wanted them to understand um, you know, what it took to work hard. Just so they, you, know, you take hard work with you through life and you know, in sports and job and school and what better way to teach them to, than to actually work and earn a bit of money and learn how to save a bit of money. Awesome, thanks a lot. All right. So the challenge is halfway done. I'll explain what's going on back there after this but I'd like to talk to the Vancouver Angels head coach as well, see how they got a spot right here on the ice. My name is Stan Parsonvat and I'm the assistant coach for the Vancouver Angels. Very close-knit organization, um, in particular what the girls uh, are a part of is the Come Try Hockey event which brings out girls from age 5 to uh, 20 I believe and uh, introduces them to the game, provides all the equipment, just makes it a fun, fun day for the girls. What we want to do is we want to try and get as many kids, girls involved with the, with the sport and these girls are a culmination of the, uh, the the kids that have made that happen. Angels, you guys have inspired me so much. The Angels absolutely love spending every minute that they possibly can on the ice and with each other. Can I go first? Yep, skate it in. So we've always struggled to register enough girls to form teams. So we decided to do something. The Angel Association has been hosting a Come Try Hockey event. This team in particular has made a big difference in getting girls to come and join the Angels organization. Come on, we can do it! We've seen more girls come out because of the efforts that the girls have been putting in. To watch our girls be ambassadors to those girls, it's so incredibly rewarding. That's a great story about growing the game. If you have an organization, you're trying to get more kids signed up, have a few days throughout the month or throughout the year where anyone can come and play hockey. It's working for this organization. They had one girls team and by doing this event and hosting it, now they have four girls teams and they're even bringing in other teams and playing. So really growing the game, starting with a small spark, get the kids excited and that passion is gonna grow. Let's head over and find out what game they were playing and what this event is all about. The games here are awesome. Let me explain what just went down. So they built this kerplunk uh, puck machine. All the sticks are interweaved and there was a hundred pucks in there. The teams had to pull all the sticks out until 
every single puck fell down. After the sticks were pulled and the pucks had fallen, they collected them all with the shovel, they pushed them into this net. So they had to build a pyramid that looked exactly like that. And it says, you can see right there, 100, because they had 100 pucks. We were missing pucks. Uh-oh! <laughs> Behind the scenes controversy, what happened? You know what? It's not even so much about the controversy, there's a lot of trash talk. Oh! Yeah. We had some good chirps from the, uh, the young guys here. I just overheard Lanny say, and I went over to the Angels team, and I told him, I said, I don't know, I don't know if it's bulletin board material or not, but Lanny said, we beat him once, we can beat him again. There you so, go. Oh, I don't know what that means. Look I'm out, look saying, out. We, we hey, did not get beat. I'm just saying, I heard. Obviously, the referee wasn't in control. Uh-oh. And, and who's the referee? It's and, uh, this uh, man right here. There was, there was a lot of guys. cheating going on over here from the McDonald's <laughs> team. Oh, no, no, we were so the good. The Terriers were like not in line. It wasn't our yeah, fault. Stealing. They they accidentally shot two pucks over here. Our guys picked them up. Whatever. Uh, what happened, right? It happened. So we're going to have to do a retake on this one. Uh, rumor has it. Like I said, the trash talk never stops. Is there any uh, tips I guess you have for any coaches? Because I can see out there with the kids, you're animated and the kids really feed off that. Well, I know the, there was two things that really um, I was taught uh, as a kid growing up and they were non-negotiable. First thing was to have fun. I mean, hockey is a fun sport and you have to enjoy it. And usually when you're enjoying something and you're having fun doing it, you work hard at it. That's and that's true. the second thing is just working hard. And, mm -hmm. you know, I, you know as, as a kid growing up, my parents didn't always have all the time or the money to really spend on, on, on hockey, but when they did spend it, which was pretty much all the time, <laughs> they found a way to spend it for me. They just said, the only thing we ask is that you go out there and you work your butt off mm. and you work as hard as you possibly can. And we don't ask for anything more, anything less, just work hard and give it all you have. And at the end of the day, if you do that, um, we're gonna be happy. And I think for most of these kids, it's, yeah, we wanna push them and, and push them to work hard and to get the most out of it. And uh, you know what? the at the very, very least, they'll learn how to work hard at something and Absolutely. dedicate themselves to doing something well and doing it the right way. Next guest on the show is Lanny McDonald, legendary hockey player. Uh, it, it's an honor to uh, meet somebody who has uh, played the game at such a high level and uh, you're still contributing. That's what I really respect is that you, know, you didn't just hang up the skates, you're still out there and you're, you're you know, helping the players. Well, when, when you think about doing something good for other people, it's amazing how you end up feeling good uh, yourself and, and uh, when you help other uh, people, uh, whether it's coaching, whether it's mentoring, mm -hmm. uh, that's pretty cool. And, and uh, I've had the time of my life uh, in hockey, uh, both professionally and as a coach and mentor. If you enjoy the game and you try and pass on that passion for the game and the love of the game, and it teaches you so much about life, mm -hmm. where you fit in, how you work together as, uh, as teammates, and try and accomplish a common goal. Absolutely, I love that. Uh, there's a there's a saying, um, you know, think of what will this help the team, right? And just being on the team and not thinking about how can I help myself, but you know, how can I help the team? I think that teaches a lot in life. And there, there's so many good life lessons that you can gain from hockey. It's important my players learn to be selfless. We wanted to help someone. We decided that we were going to get them to work 40 hours. And they pooled their money together. And we found Grayson. Hey, I'm score you. Grayson had a heart transplant when he was three. His heart condition, he can't play competitively. The Aurelia Terriers sent us by limo to a Toronto Maple Leafs game. They gave Grayson such a gift. It was beyond hockey. Aurelia Terriers, my favorite. They just are. We've seen more girls come out because of the efforts that the girls have been putting in. To watch our girls be ambassadors to those girls, it's so incredibly rewarding. 
It was great meeting the mentors. Uh, awesome that they could pass on some tips to you guys as well. They're about to kick off the uh, second challenge of the rink over there, but I gotta run. If you'd like to see more about this event and learn more about the teams and the heroes of hockey, uh, check out Hockey Day in Canada. It airs on Wednesday on Sportsnet. Thanks a lot for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one.